Okay, so I normally don't do videos where I'm talking. I usually just post videos of my music. But I had a testimony that I wanted to share with you guys because it's truly amazing. Um, and I feel like it needed to be heard. Um, most of you probably don't know this, but a few months ago I went to the doctor and they found a mass in my leg. Um, now this mass had grown to about the size of maybe a, a small line. Um, yeah, that's the best thing I can think of to give you an idea of the size of it. So, I mean, it was pretty big. Um, I had a bunch of tests done over the course of the next month or so. And it was eventually determined that the mass was cancerous. And um, I'm sure you guys want to see the proof. Um, I have the paper from the doctor here um, that says... Hopefully you can read that right there. It says malignant neoplasm, which basically means it was a cancerous tumor. Um, now, most people, when they get the news that they have a tumor, they kind of freak out. And for some reason, I didn't. I just, I had this peace about me. And the doctor even, even looked at me and said, why are you so calm? Why do you have so such peace? I mean, after you're getting this news. Um, and the only thing I could say was that it's the peace of God. I mean, because I, I just I had this feeling that I knew that everything was going to work out. Everything was going to be okay. Um, I, I just kept kept saying, you know, I, I think I probably told anybody that I told about this. I, I'm pretty sure I told them, all I want is for God to be glorified through this. And that was probably my most frequent prayer, um, that I wanted God to be glorified in this. Whether that meant a complete and total healing or whatever it meant, I, I just wanted God to get the glory. There was a verse that I read, um, it was the, the book of Luke in the Bible, I think it was chapter 5. There was a man who had leprosy and he approached Jesus and what he said to him, it, it really it really hit me because he didn't just say, God heal me, or he didn't just beg for healing. He knelt down before God, before Jesus and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can heal me. Those words were just so powerful to me because it, I mean, it completely influenced the way that I went to God in prayer. Because I knew that I wanted God to be glorified and I knew that I just wanted His will to be done. So that was how I approached God when I prayed about this. I said, Lord, if you are willing, you can heal me. And I know and I believe that you can. And if it's your will, then you can heal me. I just want you to be glorified through this, Lord. And that was pretty much the frame of my prayers for the, for the next few months. Um, now eventually I ended up having some more tests done and I got referred to a, a specialist uh, because they were wanting to remove the tumor. And the specialist wanted to get more testing done and, and have every test that I had already had done, he wanted them to be redone. Um, so that he, I guess so he could have more current information and, and everything. There's another verse in the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, that says, God is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ever ask or think. I was originally told that this, this type of tumor was called a spindle cell neoplasm, which was a fairly rare type of tumor. Well, I went into the doctor and got the final test results, and he said that there, there is no spindle cell neoplasm in my leg. He also said that even though the doctors had had proof that, that I had cancer and they diagnosed me with cancer, there is no cancer anymore. I was completely healed and he had no explanation for it. Um, now I have the proof from the report here. Hopefully you guys can read that. It says right, right here that it's book the nine. And it says right here, there is no evidence of malignancy. That means that there is no cancer in my leg, where the other paper said that there was. There was pr I have proof that, that I had cancer, and I no longer have cancer, that God completely healed me. Not only that, but if that's not enough, <laughs> remember that verse I said mentioned from Ephesians that says, God is able to do far more abundantly beyond all we ask or think? Well, not only did God heal me of cancer, of spindle cell neoplasm, but the doctor went to look at the tumor to measure it, to, to discuss removing it. 
bones and it was gone. The tumor has completely dissolved, it's completely vanished. I, I have no cancer, I have no spindle cell neoplasm, I have no tumor, there's nothing. I mean, God completely healed me. And the doctor even said, there's no medical explanation for this. Tumors don't just dissolve like that. Cancer doesn't just disappear like that. I mean, there's no medical explanation. And then he joked and said, and said, well, maybe it was just my healing touch. And I said, no, it, it was the healing touch of God. And the doctor looked at me and said, do you know what? It had to have been your faith because there's no way that this could have happened any other way. I mean, we can't explain it. So, I mean, I just want to encourage you guys that God does heal. He does do miracles. And don't seek the miracles. Don't seek the healing, but seek God. Seek first the kingdom of God and all else will be added to you. That's how it came to me. I didn't have to go in and sacrifice a bunch of stuff. I didn't have to go and sell everything and give some gigantic contribution to a, some traveling evangelist. I didn't have to jump up and down and dance around and, and scream for healing. I, I just had to humbly come before God and say, Lord, your will be done. And, and he healed me. He did it. 